In this tutorial I will show you some tricks and functions regarding the VVVV interface, just to make your patching life a little bit easier. I will be using a lot of keyboard shortcuts, just for your pleasure I have written them down in this comment box. To have an optimal patching experience, you really need a 3 button wheel mouse. But if you don't have one, you can also access the menu by holding down the space bar and right clicking on your patch. So I hold down my space bar and I right click. Just a little tip. When you are making a patch, you can use many nodes and soon run out of space. I got this patch set up here and I have made some nodes just for this demo. A good thing is we can scroll inside the patch. We just hold down the right mouse button. You see this little hand and this holds the patch so you can drag it around inside the VVV window. And here you see some nodes I have set up and I will use them later on in this tutorial. The quicker way is to scroll with your mouse wheel, so I can scroll down or I can scroll up. When I press and hold the ALT key on my keyboard while scrolling, I go to the left and to the right. So to the right and back. If you think you're scrolling slow, just press the CTRL key on your keyboard while scrolling. So I press the CTRL key and I scroll. And here you see we scroll very, very fast. And the same goes for left and right. So Control, Alt, Scroll. We can also do the scrolling while we're making a connection. If I want to connect this node to this one over here, I just left click, you see the connection line appearing, I scroll up and I make the connection. How cool is that? You can save time by simply duplicating a node. So if I make this node, there are two ways to select it. You can either click on it you see the color gray is changing, that means it's selected. Or I can either left click and drag around it. Now it's also selected. If I want to copy a selected node, I can just press Ctrl C on my keyboard, go anywhere inside the patch I want to paste, and then I hit Ctrl V to paste. As you can see, I can paste as many times as I want. If I have connected nodes, and I select and copy them. You'll see it also copies the connections, but only the connections of the nodes that you're copying. So this connection over here isn't copied because there is nothing to connect it to in the copy. Oh, if you wonder what's inside the clipboard, just open the text editor and paste inside here. This is how a patch actually is stored. It's just simple text and tags. I'm not going to discuss this now, but it's good to know. So I just close my notepad. Okay, if I select some notes and hit Ctrl X on the keyboard, I delete the notes and I also copy them to my clipboard. So if I go here and press Ctrl V, they're back. And if I just want to delete them without putting them in my clipboard, I just select them all, left click, drag, and hit the delete key. A quick way to make a few duplicates of your node is just selecting them and press Ctrl D. So I make this node. I select it and I hit Ctrl D of duplicate on my keyboard. A duplicated node will always appear below and to the right of the original node. Moving one node or a group of nodes around is easily done by selecting them and then dragging. If I left click, I can move the node around anywhere on my patch. And if I let go of the mouse button, I can give it a new location. If I connect this node to this node and then move it around, you see that the connection stays intact. All this moving around will not affect how the patch works. It just changes how it looks. You can move nodes around more precise with the arrow keys on your keyboard. If I hit the up key once, it goes up one pixel. If I hit the down key once, it goes down one pixel. If I hold my arrow key, it moves up or to the right or to the left. To speed up the movement with your keyboard, just hold down the shift key and then use the arrow keys. Goes a bit faster now. Let's delete this, left click, drag, delete. When we are duplicating a node, there's a cool trick to change the default position. If I make a node, select it and hit Ctrl D, it always goes below here. Now, if I select this node, the copied one, and move it to a new position, let's say here, just with my arrow keys, and now I hit Ctrl D, 
The new duplicates will always look like this. You can place nodes on top of each other. So if I make this node, I make a few copies, and I place them on top of each other. You can see that the input pins are not accessible for this output pin over here. It's getting a bit messy now and that's not really good. So try to avoid this. To fix this, just click on the group and use your arrow keys. And then you can separate your nodes again. Like you already saw with the IO box tutorials, you can scale your nodes. Now IO boxes can be scaled in any size you want them to, but common nodes like this plus sign over here can only be made wider to do that you just hover above the node until you see this symbol and then you can just left click and drag and scale your node and make it wider if you use the inspector and give your node a descriptive name vvv might scale it up for you as well my personal experience is that bigger nodes are more easier to find in the patch another great way to make your patch look a bit cleaner is by aligning the nodes on a line so if you have a group of nodes, let's say these two, the one and two, and I select them both, we have a magic key and that key is control L. So if I press control L, now the two nodes are aligned. And this makes it a bit better to see that they work together for the plus node. If I select two nodes that are on top of each other and I press control L, VVV aligns them vertical. So if I also added the plus sign and select the three nodes and press control L, they're all aligned. There's one thing, VVV tries to guess what you want to do. So if I select all these nodes and press Ctrl L, you might end up with a little surprise. As you can see, my IO box is now behind the other IO box. So to fix it, I just select and use my arrow keys. So always keep in mind what way you want to align your nodes, either horizontal or vertical. If you have worked with any Windows tool at all, you might know the Ctrl Z key. This is undo or step back. And this can be a lifesaver if you made some unwanted changes in your patch. So if I hit Ctrl Z a few times, you see we are almost back where we started. 